Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. I feel like something is being cleared away. Uh, I just heard the word. Oh, I know why I heard that word, actually. That makes sense. If I'm not mistaken, there's a full moon in Aries this week. I just heard dominance. All right. Justice is here. Oh, justice and judgment. Wow. Dominance. So you can be taking control of something. Aries um, makes me think of like the emperor card in the tarot deck. Could be a masculine energy. It doesn't mean it's divine masculine, but it's just an, a masculine energy, which could mean security, stability, authority, power, control, discipline, empire, family, enterprise. It could mean so many different things. Um, so this could be an energy that's coming in right now. Um, you could really be working on trying to manifest something for yourself. And it may require a lot of... Um, changes to your like your just your daily habits routines something here about structure let's see okay three of pentacles yeah so teamwork collaboration partnership rewards recognition okay this could have something to do with work or creative project a business two of cups is partnership is being highlighted okay oh the empress whoa okay so lots of abundance lots of manifestation lots of fertility here you could be working on your sacral chakra this is so specific but i'm seeing someone here in a class you could be going to a meditation class this could be um some type of some type of healing class somebody could be taking reiki there's something here with a group that's happening but i feel like it's a group of people who sort of resonate with like a light worker journey is what i'm seeing Right now, um, sound bowl. So you could be into like sound bowl healing. Some of you guys, um, yeah. There's a partnership here. The two of cups and the empress. I mean, this could be romantic for some of you. You could have a romantic partnership that's leading to a business. Ooh, ace of pentacles. Whatever this is, you guys, it's good. <laughs> really good. Okay, so. Oh, shit. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Four of Swords. Yeah, something is coming to rest. The Four of Swords is here behind it. It's the Seven of Cups in the reverse. There is some kind of confusion or illusion here that you had about which direction to move in. It's something. Yeah, Two of Swords behind it something is final you you know where you're going when it comes to your life purpose your stability your foundation your friends your family home life some of you maybe relocation is coming up just your overall i'm hearing structure i'm hearing design your overall structural design of your your physical reality as well as like your spiritual life and reality is all finally coming together this is really really good four of wands nine of swords yeah nine of swords the stress fear the anxiety this overwhelming feeling uh, the, the triggers and all of that it's pushing you right into the nine of pentacles Ooh, and the sun wow what the page of swords yeah you had an energy that has been watching and monitoring you um this is and this is something that I've been kind of working through myself because spiritual warfare has for sure been pretty heavy like the spiritual attacks I've been feeling them for sure which is why I haven't like I just haven't really wanted to be on the channel too much 99 is so you could be saying 99 or 999 there's the end of something happening here but this sun card the page of swords the devil and the hermit this is an entity that's watching or monitoring you There's an entity now, an entity, this could be like a group, it could be a corporation, somebody in the workplace, but this could also be like an actual spiritual entity. There's an entity I feel that has been watching a lot of people in the collective because you have something very, very beautiful and amazing that's coming. What this entity is doing is it is watching, it is studying. This is like an entity, it's something that has been conjured up. It could be an entity that dwells within your bloodline, um, monitoring spirits, 
whatever it is i'm also thinking too just as above so below whatever this type of spiritual entity is it is being conjured up or it's being like housed or directed and controlled possibly by someone around you some of you have to be very careful too because these different entities when they want to come in to rob steal kill and destroy your energy when you have this type of abundance that's coming up it will attack everything and everyone around you to get to you so um this does feel like some type of spiritual attack for a lot of people but i mean all in all it's pushing you to something amazing you have the ten of pentacles the ace of pentacles nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles here some of you have been very concerned maybe about your foundation your finances your security your stability maybe even a partnership this is all about to work out october is going to be significant the next three to four weeks in the next the next three to four weeks i heard nine weeks but something happened in the ninth month during virgo season during september some of you have have been battling like some type of um this confusion and illusions or whatever this is it may have caused like some of you may battle with like um minor mild depression seasonal depression there's for sure been some kind of attack here and it was a lot of confusion almost to the point where it, it started to be hard to figure out if you were going to get out of this stuck stagnant energy this right here this is when you have to really learn the difference in being just spiritually attacked by like the enemy by the devil or whatever and when you're actually being when your test is being um i said when your test when your faith is being tested by god because i often say sometimes you're being tested by both okay um for some of you there's a lot of karma here what people do to you is their karma how you react and respond to what a person has done to you as well as their karma is your karma so some of you have stayed for sure on the right side of karma and you're about to receive like we saw before justice and judgment there is this awakening there is this awareness both of justice and judgment is about karma and balance but if you see all of this great energy here it's like boom you run right into this is like a dark night of the soul kind of energy it's all swords it's all mind magic control manipulation um self-limiting beliefs outdated beliefs it's all of those things and it comes right before the four of wands right before this celebration and some of you you truly are exhausted with the nine of swords because of what you got what you went through i feel like there's a, a message here for sure that you need to push through some of you right now you may be feeling like yeah i don't want to go anywhere i don't want to move i don't want to travel i don't want to talk to anybody you need to push through because there's something very beautiful coming it's like the pentacles what you have the the faith the size of a mustard seed it's about to grow into your harvest nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is here but something here was sent to watch you and to monitor you like i said to rob steal kill and destroy whatever you had going all right virgo and capricorn could be significant this is for some of you you've dealt with whether it's with friends family or in the workplace like some type of gossip slander just a very malicious type of energy some type of jealousy envy whatever this is and this was something that was being sent towards you to force you into um submission or to force you to conform or be in this subservient like energy towards people it's a lot of narcissistic abuse to be honest with you um you could be battling with like the spirit of narcissism or something like that it, it it's really trying to have you in a chokehold it seems but i don't like this page of swords with the devil and the hermit card because i feel like somebody here is kind of hiding in the shadows it's like somebody is watching you but what i keep getting is they're watching you for the devil okay somebody could be using um they could be hacking your devices or using some type of device or there is some type of investigation happening here let's let's um get a different i, I want to find out what this what this is 
we don't want to focus on it too much. I mean, yeah, the lovers is here cutting the deck and the, the queen of pentacles. You're about to absolutely receive some type of offer here. The queen of pentacles going into a partnership that will make you the, the empress. And here's the king of pentacles. We just saw the queen of pentacles with the lovers in here. So this is, there's a connection here. Some of you see, ooh, in this destined, the star. Wow. Somebody, ooh, double lovers. Wow, oh my goodness. So look, whatever this karmic cycle is or this attack that was sent out that was meant to, yeah, it's an attack. Look, the wheel is in the reverse with the tower. So whatever somebody sent out to sabotage like your life, your world, your connection, your partnerships, whether it's romantic, um, platonic, financial business or whatever it is, you have a person out here, they've been caught. The Queen of Wands with this devil here. This is some type of, um, it's like a, a third party. It's an interference. Like I said, it doesn't have, it could, it could be a person, but there's a person that is either conjuring up some type of dark energy or there's a person here who is just very, very dark themselves. This could be for sure like some kind of closet witch, to be honest. But you have the lover's card out here twice. I'll show you this one because these two people are together. Somebody wanted two people. I have to cover this up so it's not flat. Somebody wanted two people to not come together. But it's happening anyway. Wow. So somebody here has done a lot. Look, page of swords. With the double page of cups here. Oh, man. Somebody could have two kids. Or it's expected to have two kids. This could be a set of twins even. That's three pages. Why are there three pages here? And then you have here, look, the magician with the high priestess. So you have somebody that has been... That, so the page of swords is out here twice. And the page of cups is out here twice. You have somebody that is really, really looking into your life. Your romantic offers, they're trying to see, like, our... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, this just, this just got real nasty. I don't like this at all. The Page of Pentacles is here twice. The Page of Cups is here twice. The Page of Swords is here twice. What's all, this is like, this is the equivalent of six kids. But if you notice, these are all twins. Two pages of Swords, two pages of Cups, two pages of Pentacles. And then you have the double lovers here. You have the double, the devil here twice. This wheel of fortune here, it shows the wheel is broken. This wheel of fortune is upside down. There's something here that is, it's a, it's a, it's a total loss. Something here is over. And I think in the last reading I did, I mentioned there is an eclipse that's coming up. This is a prediction, but you may be um, emotionally or spiritually, you're clearing something out perhaps now. You're going to get um, confirmation that something is completely cleansed out of your, your energy in your life. Maybe in the next like three to six weeks. Okay. This is 100% though some kind of attack on a twin flame connection. It feels like with the two wheels of fortune here, one being completely destroyed and one being upside down, it really feels to me that somebody here has been completely obsessed with your, your future connections. But this is after one karmic situation was already ended. It's like you have one situation that ended 
And then somebody start after a new connection to try to end that too. I, I can't believe like all these doubles out here like this. And I'm almost scared to ask why all of these pages are out here like this. And this right here is a female. This is a masculine. Here's two pages here. Let me let me find that. Let me see something here. You have justice and the star. And at the bottom here, the sun. Here's the sun and the star. Here's the star again. Here's the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Temperance. Look at this. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. I, I'm sorry. Like, I've never... I don't know what this is. It's like everything is doubling. Justice. I don't know if this is a shape-shifting energy. There has to be something out here, though, possibly about children. There's something happening with children. Somebody, you, you, maybe you, you're like a real twin. There could be some twins out here who are gonna have a set of twins. There's some, some there's, there's chill, twin babies out here, twins or triplets. Somebody could have fraternal twins. Somebody could have a set of triplets that are all boys. If this resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. I'm seeing a set of triplets that are all three boys. Somebody could have two girls and a boy. Two set two um Two girls and a boy. This is if somebody has triplets. Or you could just have a set of twins and another child. There's a twin flame couple that's having twins or triplets. I'm, I'm just completely... I'm in a total state of shock right now because I'm assuming that for some of you, yeah, it is. It is a hundred percent. Let me tell this is a prediction for somebody. You have, for some of you, sickness, um, confusion, illusions. My goodness. Seven of cups can be daydreaming, fantasizing, two of wands, two of swords. Also, once again, twos in, in a pair, doubles, two, two, okay? But then you have the four of wands. There is a marriage, a celebration, or something here. Nine of swords. This could be nine months of pregnancy. And then, boom, the sun, nine of pentacles. A child. Six to nine months. This is, this is, this is very specific. Very specific. Somebody could end up pregnant with um, twins or triplets and you could be on bed rest like the la by month six or like the last six weeks. Ten of Cups. I can't. I mean, Ten of Cups under the Ten of Pentacles. Judgment. Doesn't that, this almost looks like somebody holding a, a, a wrapped up baby? This is a pregnancy prediction for somebody. The world. This is 100% a pregnancy prediction for somebody. Now, some people may say, I don't want to have kids, so it could be the birth of a business or an idea, or you could be, th this could be um, a business that's going to help with children, take it how it resonates, but I mean, you have out here the two of cups, 
the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Two people come together. This Empress is going to receive a huge offer that's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. This Three of Pentacles is here on top of all of this, like, feeling stuck, feeling stagnant, Seven of Cups, like... For some of you, you're 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 sick or something. It, you could actually be expecting. Now, spiritually, you could you could be pregnant with something as well. Wow, four of pentacles. You're holding. Somebody could be hiding the fact that they're expecting. Somebody could be right at about four weeks pregnant. Or you will find out around your, like, after about four weeks. Some of you may not find out that you're, like, expecting until you're close to, like, four months pregnant. What is that called? Like a like um, a crypt, cryptic pregnancy? For some of you, you actually could be expecting and it's not showing up anywhere. Like, it's, you don't have any signs. Whoa. Eight of Swords, King of Wands. Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse. Somebody has been trying to block the manifestation of something being produced by your sacral energy, your womb space, whether it's an actual child or it's a new creative project or business. Somebody has been trying to block this. Wow. Four of Cups, yeah. Look at that, and the Page of Cups. Somebody wanted you to miss an opportunity. The opportunity for marriage and children, possibly. And for some of you, it's this entity. There's some type of entity here that has been constantly attacking you but you have a person around you too that is um very low vibrational somebody around you has literally been binding your womb and your sacral chakra so that you can't produce a, a business or a baby yeah look at that ace of wands seven of swords someone has been lying about doing magic i feel that's what i feel somebody is is not telling the truth that they do magic this this one thing here yeah somebody that you used to celebrate in the past with they're not telling you the truth about the fact that they do magic this is hidden look high priestess yeah somebody hides the fact that they do magic that's that's one thing It's a lot happening. I mean, it's like the Seven of Swords even with the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, the Two of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Eight of Wands. I'm going to clarify the Seven of Swords, but there is this masculine energy that's coming in quickly. You may be juggling right now, still trying to get something together. This also, look, two and two. Two cups here with the Temperance and Two of Pentacles here. I feel like two people are about to combine their finances and combine their emotions and everything somebody is there's an integration happening here of finances emotions somebody out here you're literally i'm telling you, you're about to move into being married starting a business and having kids like really having a whole full-blown family seven of swords i feel like this may be something that it's like hard for you to believe it or accept it but no it's really happening this reading is so different it's very, very different. It's a lot of signs, symbols, and synchronicities here. This is two people who are juggling. This right here is a balancing act. Remember, justice and judgment. There's a balancing act. Like you and somebody else, I feel, are going to come in. You're going to combine your I heard your schedules. You're going to combine your finances. Um, exchanging like spiritual gifts emotions temperance is fire and water 
This yin and yang energy. Opposites. Somebody out here definitely could be having like twins. It could be a boy and a girl. Or these twins are going to have very, very, very different personalities. Very different. The Ace of Wands is here. The Six of Cups. The Three of Cups. But I'm telling you, somebody here, it's like, it's if it may be in your your spiritual contract for you to have multiples. This Three of Cups keeps coming out. Look. Three pages. And this is going to be victorious. Wow. You have six of cups, six of wands with the three of cups. Three times two is six. There are six pages out here. Page of pentacles twice, page of cups twice, page of swords twice. This, for some of you, could be a blended family. Two people could be coming together and you both have three kids. Or somebody could already have three kids and they want to come towards you and the, you and this person will have three kids together. Let me say that. Some of you, somebody already has kids. When they come towards you, it's you and this person may have kids together. This may really become like a blended family. And the funny thing about this, what I'm I'm seeing here, because it's definitely for some of you like a prediction, a future prediction. It's it's it feels like you may be thinking like, yeah, you know, I'm okay with having one child. You really could end up with like multiple children. If this, for those of you, if this is a pregnancy, pr like prediction, you could maybe try to have one child. You could end up with like trip triplets. At least twins, twins or triplets. For some of you more, I don't even know what it's called when you have six babies at one time. I, or again, it may just be a blended family type situation. Somebody here is going to, I'm telling you, you're going to go. It's like three of pentacles. You may be very focused right now on work. You're going to go into a relationship and boom, it. Through this partnership, this relationship, this marriage, commitment, or whatever, it's going to take you to the Ten of Pentacles. It's something that I, I don't know what this is, you guys. Like, I, I am picking up pregnancy, but it's bigger than that. It's something here. It's, um, it's something about family. And it's an element to this reading that feels very hidden. It's almost like... If you if, if this is a pregnancy prediction for somebody, you you could end up having way more children than you had thought you would, okay? Because you could end up having multiples, like twins or triplets or something. But it also feels too like somebody is about to gain a whole family. I don't know if somebody is getting into foster care. If this is a business, maybe you're opening like like a childcare business, or you're going to be a foster parent. But it's huge, huge emphasis here on children. And it's not anything negative. This is not like, you know, something illegal. You guys, you know, you know, it, this is not Amber Alert type of energy. No, this is this is somebody here who's about to have a family. And somebody knew you were supposed to have this family or it was coming in. And they've been obsessively watching and stalking you. Somebody, you're in for a real rude awakening. And, and I don't think it's in a bad way. Three of swords. Three. Once again, the number three. And life and death comes in threes. High priestess. You know something. Five of pentacles. You know somebody or, or you know something or somebody else knows it. The magician, like I said, somebody is hiding the fact that they've been doing magic. 
And I feel like it was some type of binding magic. Somebody had a person's sacral chakra like completely bound and you've gotten free from this. I keep getting something here has been stuck or bound. Oh, somebody here too with the something being bound, not bound, like bound necessarily in a bad way. But this could be somebody here. Um, I just, you could have been, um, somebody could be into like doing IVF. You could be saving your eggs. I'm hearing egg retrieval. Cause you know, with something being like stuck or bound, I'm seeing like a storage. This could be like egg retrieval. And you're like, oh yeah, you're ready to have a child. You met a, a great person. You're ready to have a child. Here's the golden opportunity, the egg, and then boom, it turns into all the it's like your family grows to being like 10 people, and you're like, how? <laughs> Literally. Three of Pentacles to Two of Cups. It's like you could have worked with a group of specialists. You get into a relationship. This could be a surrogate or uh artificial insemination, IVF or something like that. You and somebody come together, you you get married, the Empress is a mother, Ace of Pentacles, and then all of a sudden, it's the Ten of Pentacles. It's like you and you have all these kids, it seems like overnight. And you can see it in the cards, whatever this pregnancy is, for some of you, especially if, it, if it's actual children or, or it's a business or whatever, in the beginning, it looks like it's going to be a little rough. Somebody here could be anywhere from about four to seven weeks pregnant right now, and you may not know it. You may be feeling like you don't want to go anywhere, like you can't do anything. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Brain fog, four stores. You don't want to get out of bed. Like, I'm really seeing this in the four of wands. Boom, all of a sudden, this is good news. It's a celebration. But the nine of swords here, I feel like it's, it's, it's news is going to kind of knock you off your feet. Like, what? Nine of Pentacles. That's a single, self-sufficient, and abundant person. The son is a child, and then the Ten of Cups. It's a family. And your ancestors and your entire spiritual team, they, they are welcoming this child or, or these children. They're, they're, like, ready. They're all celebrating, like, yes. Yes, the, 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 like the, I just heard the, <laughs> the king is here. They're like, yes, this child is here. So for some of you, this might be a spirit, a spirit baby message. I'm just really, I'm just channeling it right now. For some of you, your child or your children, they've chosen you. If you want to have children, for some of you, you don't want to have kids, but you're, you may be about to some kind of way, either through, Natural birth, adoption, or something. You're about to have a business with kids. Kids is very, very important to this situation. Yeah, you're free from some type of magic or manipulation here. Some kind of magic that could have had you having health issues. Queen of Wands is here. Yeah, somebody was throwing magic at you. The Queen of Wands fell right underneath this Ace of Wands. Or this is just you feeling very confident and free. Some of you, it's like as soon as you get over whatever this magic or, or this situation is, the hangman, as soon as you have this awake, awakening and get over these delays, there is an ending coming here. A major transformation and it leads to wish fulfillment. It's the birth of some children or, or, or a business or both. But you have here the nine of cups. Yeah, wish fulfillment. And there has been all kind of chaos, conflict, drama, Jealousy, envy, and everything else over this Ace of Cups. It's the birth of something here because it's the will of this is like this has to be a very, very gifted child. Like this is some kind of um 
it's for sure like some type of prophecy here. And I mentioned to you guys the other day the story of um, her name is Sarah, who was attacked by oh, Asmodeus, the 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 lust demon. And every single time she got married, this demon came in to pretty much like kill her husband because it wanted her to. This demon was. Um, pretty much like obsessed with her and wanted her for himself. Finally, it was the son of Tobit, I guess. I think it's Tobias. Who, with the help of Archangel Raphael, was able to save her from her affliction of this, this demon. Okay. I just remembered Sarah and Tobias got married they both were he had been sent on a journey because i think i guess it was his father that was going blind he had been sent on a journey to a faraway land he ran into sarah they fell in love they both were praying for everything to end because she was just tired of having problems in love and he was tired of this long journey of, of you know suffering they both were praying god heard their prayers right their prayers were heard and they somehow, they, they just collided into one another. Well, in that story, they end up having seven sons. You have six pages here. So this is that same story playing out here. It's right here. So for some of you, literally, you have several people that this demon, or you could say like this spiritual spouse, has been... causing ruckus and, and destroying all of your relationships. And you may think that this is just a um, a person or an ex. You could have an ex lover or a friend, a family member, but they operate out of this dark energy of this entity, this demon. It's like you're, you, you've been in some kind of spiritual contract with an entity. So you're not battling against flesh. You're, you're battling against this entity, this principality that has been destroying all of your relationships. It looks like all of a sudden now, of course, you may not actually have six or seven kids. But again, it could be a situation where you meet somebody and they have kids and you have kids. It's a blended family or let's say, you know, whether you have children or not, there's you're, you're going to like produce something. Ten of Pentacles, you're going to produce something. This is a prophecy. It's a legacy that's going to play out. Because I know, of course, a lot of people are like, no, I, you know, I don't want to have. Some of you have been told you can't have kids and you will because I did just hear egg retrieval. So for some of you, maybe you frozen your eggs or you, you're doing IVF or something. And whatever this is, it's a gridlocked energy. It's like it never, ever worked. Something here, it never worked before. You've been holding on to sadness, regret, but always hopeful for the future. And then all of a sudden, you have this person that comes in, I feel, who is actually very, very persistent about making sure that something between the two of you will work out because that's God's plan. This person is going to be assisted by, by, by God and the angels to come in and to free you from this affliction. I just thought about it in the story. Tobias was Sarah's eighth person. The demon had literally killed seven of her husbands. On the wedding night, the demon would kill them. Tobias was the eighth person. Y'all, if I've ever seen something like a prophecy play out in a reading, this is crazy. This King of Wands, she's eight, eight, eight times she's been helpless because she's been bound to this entity here that has been monitoring her. This could be your story. This contract to this demonic entity, though, that has been robbing, stealing, killing and destroying everything in your love life. It's finally over. It's over. 
Yeah, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. There is no more work that can go into sabotaging what you've created. The Queen of Pentacles, you're supposed to receive an offer. And you look, three of cups and then one cup. Once again, three. You haven't been able to birth something. Either a marriage, a commitment, a relationship, a child is coming in. God, God wants a child or some children to be here. Just period. This could be one person story. I don't know, but child, the lovers, I told you, that's it. This union and this child, it's, it's time. And all of the conflict and the drama, it was, it was, like I said, you weren't just being attacked. You, your patience and everything was also being tested by God. You earned this. And I'm telling you, I feel like you, you're you going to get so much more than what you had bargained for. Literally, you're going to get double for your trouble, triple blessings. This is coming in. I have a reading from last year, I believe, that I think was like triple blessings. And in that reading, I think I saw the Empress like six times. Their energy is coming back around. Yeah, for some of you, you may have missed out on something. You may have had more lessons to learn or your person that you're supposed to connect with. They had more lessons. There is an energy here for sure. All these doubles, you can't make that up. This, this is a twin, like a twin flame union that has made it through the fire. But these two people have to come together for the sake of this ace of cups. It's something about healing humanity. It's something about the birth of children psychic development it's just a lot that's tied into this prophecy or this soul mission purpose or contract six of pentacles yeah it's very it's a lot of generosity a lot of equal give and take i keep hearing in my head um fred hammond no weapons formed against me shall prosper no And here's the chariot in the reverse. Oh, it's getting loud in my head. The chariot in the reverse, the six of swords in the reverse. Yeah, there is a weapon that was formed against you, but it did not prosper. It will not prosper. It's over. And you get to go towards your destiny, the star. Wow. God will do what he said he will do. He will stand by his word. He'll always come through. Look at that. Ready. Somebody is ready to give you what they promised. It's a, a y'all, look at that. Man, woman, and child. And somebody did magic on this connection. Yeah, it was a plan, it was a plot. And they sent out this entity. I didn't even shuffle the cards, but the and you've been withdrawn. Somebody's offering or whatever to work with this entity, it wasn't rejected. Here's three, okay? This could be a coven of three or more people. Yeah, it was a, it's a group here. Profession and friendship. This is a group of friends. It's a network of people. They came together to do this. Acting out of ego. And they, they had high hopes. Like, they just really thought this was going to be successful. Here you have, once again, three people overindulging. These people were trying to cause some kind of freak accident. Have you homeless, stuck? Trapped in some kind of illusion. Instead, you focus on self-love. So here comes your self dream, your um sweet dreams. You're gonna be very comfortable, happy, and satisfied in this connection that is eternal love. 
Somebody here was wearing a mask. They were actually in an alliance with a group of people who were possibly trying to end you. Like, these people are terrible. These people have been making bribes, playing both sides, trying to cause stress, confusion, and worry, trying to have you isolated. This is for sure... Um, a very, very strong energy of narcissism. Your manifestation is very, very close. And you're going to be getting, like I said, much more than what you had bargained for. It's, it's going to be way bigger. It's like if you wanted one one child, you may end up with three. If you wanted to start one business, you may become like a serial entrepreneur just all of a sudden. Clarity. You and it's like you're getting clarity about a situation. There's answers coming in. You're receiving this clarity because of some kind of inner child work. And the clarity is that. You have a person that is ruled by ego that's obsessed with you. For some of you, this could even be a family member. For a lot of you, this is an entity, though, that is in your family bloodline that has been obsessed with blocking you from moving something. It's some type of generational hex or curse with family here in unconditional love. It's almost like you were stuck in bound. Something was binding you to some kind of dark entity or contract so that you could not receive unconditional love and have family children or build a home but you're gonna have it within the next few months yep you're gonna find out some secrets too and somebody is possible is your twin flame who wants to protect and provide and have a family with you and really put in the effort this person has has been um wearing a mask for a lot of you your twin flame they know exactly who you are and they know what the future holds for the two of you but this person has been overthinking or you've been overthinking and running away from this situation because of all of the pain and the suffering that you've gone through due to friends family and this entity this entity has been using your friends and family to attack you for most of your life and look at that toxicity it literally says um, negative energy manipulation and narcissists this narcissistic abuse has had you rejecting gifts it's being cleared out of your energy it's been so much pain some of you you need to be careful not to allow your pain to run a good person away from you that's coming in with a gift you need to put up boundaries with people in your life who are very toxic and low vibrational Doing the, the meditation, the healing, working on self-worth is going to bring a fresh start here. Some of you, this this um, narcissistic abuse, it comes from a lot of rejection. You could have rejected a fire sign person or someone who has Leo, Aries, Sagittarius heavily aspected in their chart or they rejected you spirit is saying trust the process though this person they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and come in they're making plans you can see this person in your dreams or they dream of getting away from everything with you somebody has been hiding the fact y'all that they know that you're their life partner And I really feel like this has a lot to do with this entity, this spell work, and this manipulation mixing with all a manipulation from all this narcissistic abuse. Somebody now is working with Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael, just like in that story. This person is going to be able to get someone out of this contract with this entity. Your healing is helping you purge this entity out for good. And the reason why this is so beautiful is because a lot of you, when you think about the sacral chakra um, binding magic or this mother father wound that you carry, it's being cleared out because now you're going to be responsible for creating a whole new generation 
whether you're having children or you're just teaching children that you have now not to actually be narcissists. So you're cutting out future generations, like you're removing that spirit of narcissism from your family. So it's like your angels, your God, your ancestors, they are so happy that this child or this business or whatever it is that you guys are creating, it's going to be created and it's pure. Y'all, this has to be like by far, it was a very, very deep, very deep, very spiritual, very important message. Some of you, you have really no, you have no idea what you've done. You, you're being redeemed. You, you need to forgive yourself. But look, it's saying here, just step back. Trust your guys. You can relax now and take action. You don't have to worry about anything now other than your sole purpose, which is going to bring you wealth very quickly. Because you've now learned the truth about a false twin flame. And so because you chose to go within, not say too much, to be introverted and not deal with this energy now, what you need, what you've always wanted is what's coming in. Now, this says false twin flame, but this card is just about a lesson. A false twin flame for some of you, like I said, it could be a friend, family member, or a lover. But you now see that there is a very strong um, spiritual connection or soul tie with someone in your life. And this has been coming up a lot for the last several weeks. I, and I, I, I always say it's this deadly soul tie. There's something that you have been courted and connected to. This person is somehow taking your energy and that energy is being given to an entity or this entity is just using everyone around you to steal your energy so that it can stay here somehow. Like in this realm, this has to be... Um, completely removed and whatever you're doing you need to keep doing it because it feels like you successfully got rid of this or you're well on your way to getting rid of this energy for good and something is going to come in sevenfold wow so, yeah, there were weapons formed against you, but they did not prosper. Not this time, but this this weapon has been formed against you many, many times, though. Many times in that story, seven of her husbands were were pretty much killed by this entity. So some of you could be dealing with because I mentioned this a few days ago, like where you're being demonized. People are like, oh, you could be one of those people, people are like that person. They just cannot stay in a relationship. It's always something, blah, blah. It's not because of you. You're being demonized because there is an actual demon that's infatuated with you. That is causing all types of chaos and conflict in your life. So that every time you take, you know, two steps forward, you have to go back 10 steps. That's because of this entity but for some of you unfortunately there's a person in your life that somehow put you in like a, a binding contract with this entity or your energy was shared with someone and this entity has been connected to you for some of you your entire life because it's in your bloodline so you could have inherited this entity actually for one of your parents Abundance. You've done the work, so abundance flows to you now. What I will say, whoever this person is, is your person. This person is so strong. They know exactly who you are. They know, they know that they came in your life to end all of the affliction caused by the, this person knows what their purpose. They know that their purpose is to come in to save you. They know that. True love. <laughs> Soulmate. And you very well could be in denial about who this person is. 
your abuse and suffering, you can't even, for some of you, it's hard for you to recognize that literally this person was God sent or this is who you are to this person. I feel like you and this person have both been sent to each other's life for a very, very specific reason. Yeah, the attraction you feel is mutual. There's this insane chemistry here. It's not the type of chemistry, 3D chemistry, though, that some people think is what I'm getting. It's on a spiritual level. This is not just physical chemistry. No. These two people with all these doubles have been assigned to one another. It's like two people almost just at their wit's end at the end of the road. You show up in each other's life. And all of the chaos and conflict, it, it, like, is being shut down. Yeah, there's a lot of jealousy and envy, but what's happening on a spiritual level is all being shut down. You can be completely vulnerable with this person. Someone is secretly learn, yearning for you. Look, children. Children are very important to this partnership. Look, and it is safe to trust in this situation. Yeah, somebody here has for sure been in denial about who their actual counterpart is. This um soul tie to this friend, family member, lover, parent, child, whatever, has had a person just completely confused and in denial about true love. Or when this person comes into your life, you're going to be like in denial. You're not going to believe that, wow, you're receiving true love like this. This person may make you feel very childlike. It's almost like a childlike connection. You and this person, I feel, are twin flames. In another life, you could have actually been twins. It makes me think of like Isis and Osiris. They were actually twins who became married. Like They just had the kind of relationship that nobody could understand. Something about this connection is very, very ancient because I'm picking up this story, like I said, of like... Um, in the book of, of Tobit with Tobias and Sarah and the demon Asmodeus, and now I'm picking like Isis and Osiris. This is a very, very, very old, ancient type of connection. Propo Look at this proposal. More than friends. What did I say? You, you. Some of you, you're in denial <laughs> that this lover or this friend is actually the person that you're going to marry reciprocity this person is already talking to their friends and family about their plan to propose to you it's faded it's a divine flame like this person has already told everyone they're like yeah they know you're the one they know it <laughs> mirrored souls wow it's faded this situation was unclear for a long time. The only reason why this connection with this individual has been delayed is because you had a special and a specific assignment to recognize this entity to clear it out of your bloodline. That's it. This situation is not being stalled because of anything else. Vulnerability is out here again. Words of affirmation, acts of service, happily ever after. You and this person, like, you just get each other. You speak each other's love language. Somebody could have financial issues, but it's a season type of love. Look, first time in partnership. This is like the first time you've experienced true love and partnership. And you're in denial about it because you're like, no, there's no way. Like, this also could be a very fast proposal for some of you. You're like, no, because I see timing issues this year. You're like, no, I, I really can't see it being true love because somebody may want to quickly propose, like, within the first year, the first few months of dating. It just seems like whatever I'm getting, it's, everything is going to happen really fast. And it's happening like that because it's truly written it's supposed to.
you have vacation and travel here. Sometimes it can be the right person, but the wrong time. Just be patient and see what unfolds. So when you first cross paths with this person, it may have seemed like it was the wrong time. 